Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video I'm going to cover how to get started with Magic Mirror software and build your own smart mirror. Uh, th there are a few things that I want to clarify though before we get started. First thing being, um, I am running this installation on Windows, so if you're looking to learn how to do it on Raspberry Pi, because uh, you're actually building the mirror itself, then this is not the video for you. I will be making a video in the future about Raspberry Pi. I'm going to cover all of the parts of on how to do it on Windows and then make a separate series on how to cover it on Raspberry Pi. Reason being, I don't have a way to record my Raspberry Pi screen at the moment, so as soon as I figure something out, I'll get those videos uploaded. But for now, let's get started with this. So, um, unlike my previous videos, this is actually not going to be coded in Python. We're going to be using Node.js or JavaScript. So first thing you want to do is go to the nodejs.org slash download and just download the Windows installer and go through that installation. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, once that is installed, I think if I can remember the syntax correctly, you can do node dash dash version. Yeah, so you can go in command prompt and do node dash dash version to verify that it's installed correctly. And then uh, you should be good to go. With that. Second thing you'll need is you're going to go to the Magic Mirror GitHub page. I'll leave links to all of this in the description so you don't have to go searching all over the inter internet for it. Uh, you're going to click code and you're going to click download zip and then extract that. I already have the folder here so I'm not going to redo it. Um, next what you're, wanna, you're going to... God I can't speak today. Next what you're going to want to do is you're going to highlight the directory here you're just going to type in cmd and that's going to open up command prompt already in this directory so you won't oh, what happened here you won't have to worry about um, going to the directory let me open this back up so now what we want to do is we want to run npm install and enter and what this is going to do is it's going to go through all of the code that's already here and all the requirement uh, files and it's going to download and install all of the dependencies, all of the requirements, all of the things that um, this software needs to have installed, like prerequisites. It's going to install all of the prerequisites that it needs to ensure that the software will run correctly. Um, depending on your internet speed, this could take a little while. This could be instant if you have super fast, so I will be right back when that's done. Okay, I'm back, and as we can see, um, this has successfully installed. Um, now you see it says found three low severity vulnerabilities. Um, to fix that, uh, let me backspace here. We're going to do npm audit fix. And that's going to go in and at, at least attempt to fix anything that's wrong. So um, it's going to undo a few steps in its installation and then basically do them again. So I will be right back when that's done. Okay, so that is done. Um, I'm not, yeah, fixed one of three vulnerabilities. I don't think, um, it said they're low severity, so I'm not really going to worry about it right now. Uh, so next, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go into config, and we see here config.js.sample. I'm going to right click and do rename. Oh, where's my keyboard? There it is. Uh, and then we're going to get rid of the dot sample part. And it's going to come up and it's going to say, if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Click yes. Now we're going to right click and click edit. And this is where we're going to mainly be working uh, inside of, with our code. Uh, so this is responsible for all of our third party modules, all of our uh, built-in modules and where we're going to change everything and how everything looks. So the first thing we're going to start up at the top, language by default is um, English, uh, t uh, time format is at 24. I'm going to change mine to 12, you can leave it at 24 if you want. And I'm also going to change my units to Imperial. I think I spelled that right. <laughs> um, I'm also going to define Zoom say 0 0.5 
so uh, let's see. So alert comes, default, update notification clock, calendar. I'll show you how to add more calendars in another video. Uh, okay, current weather. So this is the one we're going to actually have to do a little bit of setup for. So the current weather one, you're going to have to have an open weather map account. So let me just show you what that is. So open weather map. Um, you can create an account with here, it's free. And then you can just go to the API key section and you should already have one pre-made. Now I've noticed that the pre-made one doesn't always work right away, so I just made a new one. Um, keep in mind, when if you do make a new one and you paste it in, it doesn't work. Um, sometimes it takes a while for it to actually, for them to actually like get it working. So uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much, just give it some time and it'll it'll be good. So then you're going to want to grab your key here, copy, and you're going to paste it here, and we're going to paste it here. Now we want to give it a location, so the closest city I am to is Rally, and then I'm going to come down here, and then put Rally in place in New York here as well. And we're also going to have to specify a location ID, and we can get that from this file right here. So let's go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded it before, so that's why it's numbered. And now what we can do is maximize that, do Control F, and then just type in the name of your city, and then click Find Next until you find the one with the right state and country. So here's mine, probably North Carolina. And I can just copy this ID right here. And then go back to config, paste location ID, replace the location ID, and then that should be good to go. Uh, let's see. Missing anything else? Don't think so. Okay, so first run. Let's see. Uh, let's go into modules, make sure I did that right. Okay, yeah. So we don't have any third-party modules yet, which is why we have this default here. So this is all the default modules. When we install third-party modules, they'll have their own folder. And it'll be like MMM-whatever the name of the module is. So, first run. So you're going to highlight this again like before, do CMD. And this time we're going to do NPM run server shouldn't take too long to start up. Uh, first startup might take a little bit longer. Uh oh, I did something wrong. Let's see, app ID. Doesn't like, I think I probably, yeah. Left that out. Uh, just save that. So, um, thing with this is if you get errors, it's gonna keep running. So you want to be sure to read all of the text when it runs. Uh, NPM run server. Let's see if we got it this time. Hopefully there are no more errors. Now when I do get this running, uh, let's see. Unexpected token what line. Big.js line 75. There's line 75. Ah, uh, that's why. Went to a new line for some reason. Okay. Sorry about that. Run server. It must have done that when I pasted it. There we go. So now it's loading all of the different modules. Now when it's ready to go, it's going to say, Ready to go, please point your browser to localhost. So what you can do is you can copy this. I think you can just hit spacebar to copy it. And then... Nope. Um, but it's just, it's just HTTP colon slash slash localhost. Uh, port 8080. Okay, so future Zach here. Um, I noticed after editing um, what was causing the black screen. So you saw there for a second when it loaded, it was black. Uh, when you first load yours, it will be black. Don't worry. I'm going to show you how to fix it. So to fix that, we're going to. Where did my mouse go? Okay. Man. 
Okay, there we go. Um, to fix that, we're going to go to this folder. So we're going to go to the Magic Mirror folder, and then we're going to open the Vendor folder, and then we're going to do CMD. And just like we did when we first installed everything, we're going to do npm install. Because apparently there are some dependencies in here that don't install when we did the normal install. So that was pretty much instant for me since I've already done it. But if you start yours and you notice it's black, just go into the vendor uh, folder and then do that. Um, and then restart the server and then this is what you will get. So this is, these are only the default modules. We have the clock, the calendar, the weather, um, I can't remember what that module, it's like quotes or something. Compliments, that's what it's called, compliments, and then the news at the bottom. So this video has just been showing you how to get up and running with Magic Mirror on Windows. The next videos will be showing third party uh, pl uh, not plugins, modules. So there is a GitHub page that we will be going through that has all sorts of third party modules from things f all the way from like, uh, she who shall not be named, like the Amazon thing, Echo, um, to like COVID counters. And there's there's so many things in here, I, I can't even begin. There There's a category thing at the top here. Let me go back up. Yeah, so part of the category is finance, news, transport, all that stuff. But yeah, we'll get into that in the next video. So if you found this video useful and helpful in any way, shape, or form, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And if you had any trouble with this, if something's not working right, just leave a comment. I'll also leave a link to the Discord server in the description. So if you're having trouble and I don't respond to your comment, just hop in the Discord and I'll be sure to talk to you there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.